So I found this gray washed wood from Lowe's. It was a six foot by five and a half inch piece. And I had them cut it for me into two pieces that measure 10 and a half inches long. Then I grabbed my popsicle sticks. They're a little bigger. They're seven and three quarters of an inch by one inch. And then my metal cutting shears. And I started by measuring two of the popsicle sticks to fit the width of the board. So five and a half inches long. And I put them about two inches from the top and bottom. Then I took two more popsicle sticks and I made an X inside the other two popsicle sticks. And I just marked where I would cut to make them lay perfectly inside the two popsicle sticks that I laid across the top and the bottom. Now once I had the popsicle sticks cut to the size I needed, I used them to cut myself another set of popsicle sticks for my second piece of wood. Now once I had everything cut, I used some Antique Villa from Wise Owl Paint and an R14 Klingon brush, and I just painted my popsicle sticks. Now once they were dry, I adhered them to my board. So I put a piece across the top about two inches down, and then I measured two inches from the bottom and laid one piece across the board as well. Now I'm brushing on some wood glue and then I'm just putting some hot glue so it adheres before the wood glue dries. And then I took one piece to start my X and then the two small pieces to finish my X. And once I had everything in place, and glued down, I repeated that exact thing on my second piece of wood. And once I had two of them, I flipped them over and using these mending plates that I got from Walmart, I just drilled them into my wood so that they were now attached. I took some green floral wire and this boxwood artificial plant that I found from Walmart for 97 cents and I cut them into sections. Now using the green floral wire, I wrapped it around the bottom and top of each section. So you wanna make sure you have a long enough strand. And I just repeated this until I had enough boxwood to make a small circle So that way, I now have a mini wreath. And I attached that using some hot glue. And then I found this wood home sign from Michaels for 99 cents, and then I glued that on top of it. And now you just have this farmhouse barn door wall decor guys thank you so much for watching you could check our other tutorials out over on our youtube channel and paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com have a great day